okay guys so we'll be talking about the app bar today so the and the app bar is also called the navigation bar like the navigation bar for navigating through so let's begin to write some code so to use the, the app bar we have to import app bar from material UI core so let's import that and then we need um, a tuba which gives us some styles in the abba then next we need an icon button yeah we need um, a typography for the text then lastly we need the button so the whole window from material ui Then we need to import um, some icons, but we just import one for now. So just import and we need a menu icon from Smartera UI slash icons. Okay, so let's start using it. Now we can use and the app bar. Now give it um, a position of static. So this position can be anything it can be fixed it can be in early it can be anything but now we're now using static uh, who's going to make the about static obviously okay so let's just give this and then when uh, uh, the tuba the tuba so this just give us some css styles mm, defaults already so next now we need um, the icon button i uh, was going to serve um, as a navigation drawer then we give the edge um, edge of start let me to be at the position of this at the start of the screen then an um, area label which is not really necessary in the real sense so let's just limit menu. Let's give it a small letter there. Okay, so we can put an um, icon inside the icon button. So which is why we imported menu. We are going to put menu inside this. Okay, it's gonna give me some errors. Okay, we are good. So let's just run this and see what's going to happen. Can run this. So um, you can just guide and start your server if it's not yet started. Um, I've started mine already. And before I started the video, so you can just start yours. Okay, now let's uh, go to the browser. So look out three thousand. Okay, now see what we have here. Mm, what a wonderful design. Okay, but this um, icon is I think somehow black. Let us change that to white. So I um, mean. In the icon button we can just give it an inherit these are just basic um, CSS properties inherit of okay sorry no color of inherit I mean this is so it I mean we should give it a white um, color right now then next we want to use our typography right for uh, for the maybe like title of this site or something so typography, we're going to give it a variant. I mean, like I thought on typography, um, a variant can be um, H1, H2, um, it can be a div, can be a span, but now we'll be using H6. Then we can, okay. Yeah. Okay, then we'll give it a, um, a text, let's say material UI. Material UI. So let's save this. Okay, the next up we need um we need some text. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay, so um, in our browser we should have this which is somehow nice. As you can see, everything is well balanced because of the two by which it gives like, some some default CSS styles. Okay, so let's put some some links here but do literally be a button okay so let's go back there okay, so next we want to 
we want to um use our icon button again icon button just give it them or oh, no we shouldn't use icon but let us use a button then we give the color of energy to make it white okay so like i thought in the um um the, uh, the video on buttons now without giving this any variant it's going to be um, a text button like that's the default value for the variant it's going to be a text button so this is going to look like um, a text okay, so let's give it something like login and then let's make another button with the same color of inherit then don't give it register okay so let's save this okay now let's go to the browser now this and this is not uh, going to look good okay I, as you can see here now and these two buttons like we need them to be like this other side here so we can use um, a css style for that now in the typography here we can give it a style right a style or a flex or flex grow so what the flex grow does is that um, it dictates what uh, amount of available space inside the flex container the item should take up so we want this text here this type typograph to take up the whole screen so which is going to adjust these buttons or anything below it to the right hand side so let's save this and see so i'm going to give it flesh grow is one now you can see this it's going to make much more sense okay as you can see now everything is at the right so what the flex grew does is that um, it gives this typography here it, the whole screen uh, it takes up the whole width um, of this container then anything put on that we just try to fix itself at the edge of this side now we can add other button let's say um, account scoop that up so let's say we want to make a button called account I'm in edit for the text to be white then you can say account I want to save that I'm going to see how okay right now it's loading okay as you can see now what about that and button here yeah. but they look like text because the variant is text like if we have to change it to something else let's see a variant of content is going to look like a button right now okay, let's go to the browser now i can see it look like a button but we don't want that it's, it's not looking too too uh, um nice so we're going to use um, a text oh sorry um, a text button right text button but we don't need that because it, but it, because the default is with the text button so we don't actually need this okay so um, we, can, we can actually change some things like we can like use um, icon okay let's just remove okay let's already remove this um, account button here right and then let's just import something called um, an icon called them um, let's see um, account circle so this is going to give us um, an icon like um, like a user um, icon something like that so we can use them um, something called the uh, um, icon button to make it a button which is going to take the same thing with this thing yeah, so you can just copy that uh, the color in there it you no know, we don't need to copy that edge go to mess up the old thing and then we can give it a um, RL label label of um let's say account right okay so then we need the icon can just import it here i mean use it not import but imported it icon cycle now this should look nice 
I can look into the browser and see. Okay, I can do this uh, um, a nice stuff. So you, can, so you can't like anything you want. Can't put like a search box or anything. I just try that out. Can put a search box around there and then the icon button. So um, in the next tutorial, I'll be talking about how to make this thing actually work. I mean, this stuff here um, is actually doing nothing right now. So we're going to be using a um, drawer in the material here to make this work. So stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. I put on um, the um, alert button, um, of course the button, and then wait for the next video. Bye, thanks.